Judge Terry Berg and his wife, Anita Sevier, have had more than a few surprises in the last year. Not only was the federal judge shot outside of their home in Detroit, Anita had to go from being a caregiver to her husband to a patient herself this year. I feel very fortunate. It's judge bad. Terrence Berg is hard to keep up Way with, better. literally. I'm a fast walker, but I think you're faster than me. <laughs> After a gunman fired a bullet into his knee a year ago, this federal judge spent months rehabbing his leg with a grueling five hours a day in physical therapy. It worked. And even though he still can't return to running marathons, Berg hasn't missed a beat, either on the bench or in his goal to end violence in Detroit. We had something bad happen to us, violent happen to us, but then we experienced that community response which is a Detroit response. This is what it was for us, and that is our experience in this city. On March 5th, 2015, around 9 p.m., Berg was bringing his trash cans in from the curb when two men tried to get into his home in the University District. Berg refused, knowing his wife, Anita Sevier, and their teenage son were inside. Uh, one of them just uh, fired a gun and hit me right in the knee. Detroit police put the wounded judge in a patrol car and rushed him to the hospital where he faced surgeries and uncertainty about his recovery. Within hours of the shooting, Anita was speaking out. I just said to Terry, we can't, this can't be a reason I hate Detroit. Defending the city and the neighborhood the Bergs have called home for 27 years. The city is, is worth holding on to and working to make better and this is not, we don't, throw everything away with a bad experience. Instead, what can we do to improve things? Hey, how you doing? How are you? Acting on those words, the Berg family soon teamed up with their nearby church, hosting the Walk for Hope to bring the community together in peace. Unable to drive to his courtroom in Flint for months, Judge Berg had to keep up on his docket from home. It was during that time that Anita got some frightening news. The notice came in the mail the week he was shot telling me to get my mammogram. I thought, okay, we'll deal with that later. So in June, when life was calming down, I headed off to do that, and right away the doctor said I had a problem. That problem was breast cancer. You know, the way I felt was, really? A little bit of really, God? But that's okay. I mean, okay, this is what I'm expected to uh, handle or deal with or whatever. So I have. After radiation, Anita is doing better, and the couple is focused on helping their three children cope with the diagnosis and the shooting. Case number 15010611, people versus Kevin Smith. In December, the Wayne County prosecutor charged 23-year-old Kevin Smith in the shooting case, saying Smith was involved in as many as 13 other robberies in the Berg's neighborhood. Next month, Judge Berg will likely have to testify at Smith's trial, finding himself on the other side of the bench. Now I know what it's like to uh, be the witness or the victim, too. And that's not the only thing this former federal prosecutor learned during the last year. One thing I think it definitely has done is made me able to empathize more with victims of gun violence. The ironic thing is that in many of our criminal cases, when we read about the background of the uh, defendant who's charged, many of them have been gunshot victims as well. And so that also gives me a little bit of insight into that kind of challenge and that kind of suffering that that person uh, had to go through. It's that suffering that Judge Berg and his family want to stop. They want everyone to participate in the Walk for Hope to End Violence at the Jesu Catholic Church in Detroit tomorrow on Good Friday. Everything starts off at 5.30 p.m. and Judge Berg will be leading that walk, truly thankful that he can walk. We have more information on our website, WXYZ.com. Wow, Carolyn? what a powerful message that couple is sending, not just for Detroit, but being a survivor.